Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system and is often called the king of the planets. Ancient civilizations observed Jupiter as a wandering star, but it was not until Galileo first peered through a small telescope in 1610 that Jupiter could be seen in detail. In more recent times, nine robotic spacecraft, including NASA's Juno, have visited the gas planet, allowing scientists to study its complex atmosphere like never before. Jupiter is believed to be able to help us better understand the origin of our solar system, given its massive size and influence on the solar system story. Despite the vast amount of information collected by these ambitious missions, Jupiter still holds many mysteries, such as what lies below its magnificent tapestry of colorful swirling clouds and what is at its core. Jupiter's atmosphere can be divided into layers, but the transition between each layer is extremely gradual, and the distances between each transition are enormous. The outer part of Jupiter is recognizable for its cold, thick clouds of ammonia and water floating in a translucent atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. The true composition of Jupiter's interior is shrouded by thick and dense clouds that obscure its inner structure. However, the Juno spacecraft was outfitted with an impressive array of scientific instruments that enabled scientists to measure and better understand the internal workings of the gas giant. Underneath the dense, disordered, and murky skies, there is a gradual rise in pressure and temperature as the majority of the atmosphere is occupied by hydrogen gas, which eventually compresses into a liquid state. This liquid form gives rise to the biggest ocean in the entire solar system, but unlike a conventional water-based ocean, it is a hydrogen-based ocean. At a depth of around halfway towards the planet's core, the liquid hydrogen transforms into a metallic liquid, displaying more metal-like characteristics. The occurrence of this phenomenon is a result of the continuously rising pressure, which can reach millions of times the atmospheric pressure at sea level on Earth. The immense pressure causes the hydrogen atoms to be compressed so tightly that their electrons become unbound and are able to flow throughout the liquid. This electron movement gives rise to an electric current which, combined with Jupiter's rapid rotation, may be the reason for the gas giant's exceptionally strong magnetic field. Beneath the intense pressure lies an incredibly high temperature that reaches a staggering 10,000 degrees Celsius or 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The result is an unusual ocean known as liquid metallic hydrogen that possibly occupies the majority of Jupiter's interior, forming a solid enclosure around its enigmatic core. Juno spent several years studying and investigating Jupiter, eventually uncovering a surprising discovery regarding the gas giant's central region an unexpected revelation. Jupiter's core is indistinct and blurred lacking any distinct boundaries and merging with the liquid metallic hydrogen enveloping it. According to the fuzzy core theory, Jupiter underwent a colossal head-on collision with another planetary body during its formative years, back when the solar system was a chaotic and tumultuous place billions of years ago. Computer models indicate that the impact likely involved a massive rocky protoplanetary roughly 10 times the size of Earth, endowed with a dense metallic core brimming with heavy elements. This high-energy event could have caused the dispersal and diffusion of Jupiter's core over several billion years. Despite the information collected by Juno and other missions, scientists still do not know enough about Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune's interior to say whether Jupiter's core is unique or common among the gas giants. The study of Jupiter and its mysteries is ongoing, and with new missions and advancements in technology, we may be able to unlock more secrets about this colossal planet and the mysteries that lie beneath its toxic gas clouds.